Yeah, g'day viewers. Just thought I'd like to give you a quick video update on this uh, Nixie Tube Cistron Donna timer counter unit I scored at a radio swap meet in Melbourne this year. I had this featured in another video a little while ago. Anyway, this is a very nicely made unit and uh, features for NL905 uh, Nixie tubes, which are like an upside down type, quite rare. And the problem I had was with the second Nixie tube here was the two uh, and the six uh, elements were illuminating together when they were addressed, and that was a fault with a um, driver, which is a 7441 Nixie tube driver. So I replaced that chip. And uh, so that now that's all working normally. Bit of fun getting the chip out because the plate through holes are very tightly spaced and and you know and the pins are a tight fit, so it's hard to extract the chip without damaging the plate throughs. So you end up just snipping the chip off because it's finished anyway. So you just uh, just snip the pins off and then extract each pin one at a time. And it's a much easier way to do it without trying to lift the chip and damaging the plate throughs. And I replaced the chip also with a socket, so it makes any future replacement a little bit easier. Yeah, nice uh, gold plated electrical connections. And uh, before this camera runs out of battery, we'll have a look at this input board. I also had a problem with that, one of the channels was not working and so the signal comes in onto this part and, and you've got a bunch of diodes and you know, at some stage maybe had too much voltage on the input and it's shorted a few of the diodes out so I'll replace those with I think they're 1N4148 signal diode should be a suitable replacement for these ones. Uh, have a quick look inside. That's the connection for the display board. Got your logic boards. Power transformer, filter capacitors. Very beautifully made 1970s high-end technology. Oh yeah, we've also got a 1 megahertz uh, time-based reference. So this is actually in a crystal oven which has its own little electric heater to keep the crystal at a set temperature to improve its accuracy and stability. Just having a look underneath here. Beautiful wiring loom connecting all the edge connectors for the boards. Anyway, I'll replace those diodes and and put this unit back together. Yeah, righto. I've put the uh, counter back together and I'll try it out, make sure things are working. Yeah, I like the sound of a fan wind up when it turns on. So I'm just putting a uh, 2 kilohertz signal into this thing, make sure it's uh, working. And uh, it has a 1 megahertz 
crystal oscillator that we looked at before and uh, use that as a test reference so we can go to that one yeah that looks pretty good Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, love a mixy tube roll. Right, I'll just go back to Well, I'll we'll compare the readings uh, with a handheld multimeter. This is a fluke one, which are very nice little meters. Have all your ranges, all your voltage and current measurements, resistance, frequency, diode checks, the whole thing. Beautiful little meter, and uh, see how quickly this acquires a reading. So I'll just apply the signal. And there it is, straight away, look at Yes, the old instrument from the 1970s certainly does take a long time to uh, acquire a reading. But still, you can't beat the totally cool display of these Nixie tubes. Absolutely fantastic. I just uh, put the meter on count mode and just put a low frequency into it just to uh, just check for uh, Nixie tubes. Well, anyway, that problem tube is now fixed, so we're all working as they should. <laughs> 